Hi everyone. We're going to uh, do number five. Uh, hopefully you already watched the other four videos because I'm going to go a little faster. So basically we have to prove uh, condition one and condition two. Condition one is where n equals one. And when I plug in one in this n, it should equal the sum of the first term, which is just three. So I'm going to plug that in here. And it's going to be one half times 1 times 1 plus 5, which is 1 half times 6. 1 half of 6 is 3. So yes, condition 1 holds. So now we're going to check for And if the statement is true for some k, so I'm going to write 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus dot, 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 plus k plus 2. And that should equal 1 half k times k plus 5. So we're just copying it down for some k. And now for condition 2, we we're going to check for the next term, which is k plus 1. So basically, all I'm going to do is copy the same statement down. The sequence is arithmetic. The common difference is uh, 1. So basically... So the common difference is 1, but k plus 2. That means I'm just adding 1 to the next term, which is k plus 3. And I do the same thing on the summation side. So this is going to be k plus 1, and this is going to add 1, so that's going to be k plus 6. All right. Now, I already know what this equals here. Uh, this sequence... The sum of the sequence is this, so I'm going to use substitution, write 1 half k times k plus 5. I'm going to add my next term, and it should equal this side here. Now, what I notice is this 1 half only goes with this portion here. So if you want, um, I'm going to go ahead and write this as k times k plus 5 over 2 plus k plus 3. And I want to get the common denominator. And all I'm going to do here is just kind of cross up. So uh, that's going to be k times k plus 5. And um, 1 times that is just that. So it's plus 2. And my common denom denominator is 2. And I multiply 2 times this part. Again, um, and remember, I'm going to write this. So basically when you're doing this, if you want, we want this guy to join in this group because that's how it is on the right side of the equation. This one half belongs to both those pieces and we want the left side to look like the right. So now I'm going to just bring out the one half again and write this as k times k plus 5 plus um, 2 times k plus 3. Alright, so basically that's what we have and I'm going to simplify this quantity here. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and put it on one page. I know it's getting messy, but so we're going to get 1 half and simplify this. We get k squared plus 5k plus 2k plus 6. So you get 1 half times k squared plus 7k plus 6. Now when we um, factor this, we're going to get k plus 1 and k plus 6. And it does match our right side of the equation. So we have proved uh, condition 1 and condition 2, and the statement is true for all natural numbers n. All right, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.